Okay, today we are playing a game on King's Row. I do not know the SR, but we are playing Reinhardt the entire way through. The email didn't say, I don't know. We are on the console today, by the way, just so that you're forewarned. Let's start the game. I'm still sick. Leave me alone. I'm still sick. Okay. So we got to attack first. Uh, our widow already died. So that's a good start to proceedings. Is she gonna switch? No, of course not. Why would I even think it? You know, widows springing back up like, all right, well, we'll see about that, bitch. So we'll see if she dies again. Yeah, yeah, she did. All right, so let's go back real quick. You know, I feel like the story of shame needs to be told like already right at the start right at the start so she died please release me thank you all right here we go now let's see what does the widow maker see she sees big plays on the horizon this is gonna look amazing in my montage just watch this mom this will not be going in the montage of course but now Hold on, Widow says. We'll see about that, bitch. I'll get you. Just you watch. This will look amazing. Not going in the montage. Hmm. Yeah, be like that sometimes, don't it? Alright, so that went amazing. Great job, Widow. Who am I kidding? We gotta we gotta stick with this one a little bit long. Ah, oh, she changed. She changed. She felt great shame. Oh fuck, Anna's over here. Oh, that's our Anna. I'm f okay, <laughs> I was just like, Jesus Christ. I thought that this. That I was looking at their widow, the, our widow. Like that's the enemy. No, no, no. That's our team's color, though. The widow is the enemy, but she's on our team, unfortunately. So that turned into a catastrophe real quick, but it's okay. We'll write that one off. That one was Widow's fault. But she's not Widow anymore. So, hey, you know, she can't do that one again. Hopefully. So, now their Reinhardt's done bad and his shield is broken. We've managed to pin him against the wall. Hooray. He is gonna, however, get away. We decide to Earth Shatter. I <clears throat> I don't strictly blame the choice to do so. I would have just done it sooner if I was going to commit to it. We were probably thinking about it. Because if we did it sooner, we could have got Lucio as well. But by the time we did it, Lucio had scampered away. So we only got the Reinhardt. Getting the Reinhardt by himself, probably enough. Because at that point, they're missing their main tank. You know, you get to just walk at them at that point. But hey, getting the Lucio as well, it would have been better. But I don't judge the choice to use Earth Shadow, seeing as his shield just broke right in front of us. It's about as free as you get when you see the shield break. So he's out there. Uh, he didn't use his Earth Shatter during the last team fight, so like he's got it at this point. We can see it, of course. We're trying not to use our omnipotent eye as much as we can. We're trying to just like go off the in-game. So hopefully we're aware of that. Shield's real close to breaking. We gotta let that boy recharge. Nope, we put it back. Don't do that. Don't just let it recharge. Payload. Oh, we let it break. Oh, no. Should have just let it be recharging anyway. Because payload still had to go a ways. And like when it's going through the alleyway right there, the archway, it's not really an alleyway. You can just stand behind it. You know, you don't need to hold your shield up yet. Um, just let it regenerate. Like a 500 health shield, that might as well be a zero health shield, because we don't want to let the boy break ever. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it's not a good time to not have the shield down right there, because we were like half health in full view of the enemy team, and uh, they got us. But by that point, thing, like, we just got flanked by McCree, things were going kind of badly, um, broadly speaking anyway, right there. So, uh, our whole team is dead, we should just be waiting in spawn, right now, really, because us getting into this scuffle, not really recommended without our team, so, you know, better just come out when all our team is actually here, but we do have Earth Shatter now. Ah, questionable choice, because, I mean, if it works, great, but, like, 
he's kind of very aware and in full view of his whole team right there, you know. Uh, ah! It did show our ba his back to us as well, so that's the tragic part, because he turned around for the Earth Shatter. Um, when your D.Va uses self-destruct... Wow, he missed us with that flashbang. When your D.Va throws self-destruct behind the Reinhardt, just get ready to, like, do something to the guy. You know, pin him, earth shatter him, whatever your heart desires, but, like, if you can take the shield out of the way, you at least kill Reinhardt. Charge is usually good enough for this reason, but earth shatter, sometimes you're too far to charge, and earth shatter ends up being better. Um... Just be, like, he's gonna to show his back to you, and then you might kill him. You might kill him. Uh, this is all very scary. Don't want to be in view of the amplification matrix. We just let our shield break again. Just try and, like, usher out of the way of the matrix. Your shield will break so fast in front of the amplitude. Don't bother. It's got 200 health, dog. Just let that boy regenerate. Like, if we didn't... Because we didn't really block anything that whole time. If we let our shield regenerate during that period instead... Oh, okay, Anna. If we just let it regenerate during that period instead of putting it up and down constantly, it could have been a lot healthier when the fight actually started instead of like 200 health. 200 health is nothing. Don't even bother putting it up when it's like that low unless you like absolutely have to or you're gonna die, right? Like fucking self-destructs right there or something. It's just not even worth bothering. All right, we blocked his earth shatter. Fantastic news. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because for me, that's all I've been thinking about this whole time. I thought she was going to jump in the pit rather than die to self-destruct for a second right there. And I wouldn't have blamed her for that choice, to be honest with you. All right, Diva's going to get me with self-destruct. Not on my fucking watch. She isn't. Does, doesn't really do anything except make D like maybe deprive Diva of her play of the game. Because she wasn't going to get all charged off you dying to it anyway. But... If you're gonna die, shit, dude, I ain't giving D the play of the game, you know? Like, I'll take it away from her. So, we don't have Widow again, thank goodness. I thought he might be tempted, seeing as we were on defense now, but no. Remember when we had defense heroes and Widow was considered a defense hero? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they got rid of the fucking defense category, because that... Oh god, did that cause some stupid people to sound even stupider. <laughs> uh, we're defense! Why are you picking an offense hero? It's Reaper. But you know, like, was Reaper an offense hero? I don't even remember anymore, to be honest with you. It was so long ago. People said stupid things. Why are you picking May on offense? She's a defense hero. We are a more enlightened species now. Ever so slightly. We're not quite at the amoeba stage anymore, you know. We haven't got legs yet, but we are further along than amoeba, at least, you know. We've got more than one brain cell between the whole community. Probably like five in total. Which is pretty impressive, to be honest with you. So, there Ryan's dead. Don't bother putting the shield up now. I'm watching. Ah, what did I just say? Because now we just keep canceling the regen on it, blocking nothing. And this Ryan's going to be coming back. As, you know, our May did that. Life is hard. Um, we're not doing any shield management. And, like, I'm at the point where I assume that Ryan has Earth Shatter right now. Because I'm like, he's close. And I assume he has it if I think he's close. And if we're coming into the fight with, like, a 500 health shield, we're going to get Earth Shattered. Look, it's gonna either come in when we've got a hundred health shield right now. He didn't even need to do it. He just did it for the sake of it at that point. Uh, like, once your shield is below, like, 700 health, say. You know, once it's real low, you need, like, once it's half or below, you need to really let that boy recharge at that point. There's so much burst damage in this game, and your shield is so large that it's going to break extremely quickly once it's, like, down that below half. You gotta, like, at that point, be, like, ushering your team to a corner so you can take it down and let it regenerate. And once it's down to, like, 500 or lower, 
Jesus, don't even, don't even put it up anymore at that point. You've got to let it regenerate. Only put it up if it's like life or death. You know, I'll die if I don't put this up right now. So we're getting uh, kind of attacked right now. They, we did have Earth Shatter. We could have probably got him right there, to be honest, because he had the lamp on him. When people have the lamp on them, that affects how they play. Because right now, let me tell you what Ryan's thinking. Ryan's thinking, can't die. Got the lamp on me. So we could have probably earth shattered him if we did it like immediately. Um, but we were pretty low. So the fear is, well, fuck brother. What if I die before I get the earth shatter in? Which is a fair concern to have. Um, either way. Like at that point, it's like either commit or just get the fuck out. Just like try and get away as quickly as possible. Because we start getting low. Like... Once we're like half health and we're that far up, that's why I don't like standing in the archway. People like to defend in the archway. You only really get to do that if you're really ahead. Don't use Earth Shatter, uh, Fire Strike once you've got Earth Shatter built up. It doesn't do anything except give them ult charge. Save it for when you think you're going to kill somebody if you have Earth Shatter built up. Um, just did it again. And uh, I, hate, I hate defending in the archway because if anything bad happens to you when you're in the archway, you have to go a long way to get to safety, and I don't want to do that, dog. So we used Earth Shatter right there. Genji used Dragon Blade and went over us. If we're gonna use Earth Shatter right there, I'd rather try and get Genji. To be honest with you, I'll trade Earth Shatter for a Dragon Blade any day. Fuck Genji players mostly, but also just like people, people die. <laughs> people die to Dragon Blade a lot. Now, are you are you, like, is Earth Shatter that easy to hit on Genji? Not always, to be honest with you. He's doing a lot of double jumping. But, so I, I was wondering where that Reinhardt was. Um, but, like, sometimes, especially when they do the Nano Blade, that's all you have. Like, you don't get to do much else to try and stop it as Reinhardt. All right, he wants to Earth Shatter. That right there was a textbook I'm trying to Earth Shatter maneuver right there. Let me show you. Let me, sh I'll show you the exact point that this boy went, hold on. And it's right here. This is the exact point he went, hold on. Let me get this Earth Shatter in here. Because he's now just walking around in front of us completely alone. His shield broke. But it's like, when a man's walking around without his shield up, just like that, like... That's him. Like, come on. Let me... Uh, just, please. I just want to... Oh, God, move, please. You know, that's what he's thinking right there. So... It's okay though. May use Earth Shatter, or May <laughs> May did not use Earth Shatter. That'd be scary. May use Blizzard. So at that point, he's pretty much not gonna Earth Shatter. But like that's like the like we could already tell he'd had it by just time. But like he's got it after moving like that. Reinhardt players are very predictable creatures. I'd know. As soon as they start shuffling around. That's him trying to do it, you know. They're just, please, just for one second. Just take it down for just one second. And that's when you get him. You just like flick, flick, and you get him. You take it down for half a second, and they're like, finally, oh. Now this thing is that sometimes, sometimes though, Reinhard, the Reinhardt player is just a fucking savage and sees you hold, yeah, exactly like that nightmare. He sees you holding his shield up, and he just earth shatters you while you're holding it right there. He's gonna take it down right now. And there's no logical thinking behind that. He just guesses. But sometimes he guesses right. And that's when you're upset because you're like, I was just holding my shield up. What prompted that? And the answer is, he wanted to do it. And I understand that, to be honest, you know. Have, haven't we all just been like, whatever, yeah, just, just get got, please. No, 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 we can't, we, we can't do that. We, we, we cannot back up like that much when that boy's got Earth Shatter. We just went behind our whole team, and like, he has it. He, he has it, and he had it. Now, this is probably prompted by the McCree being behind us, but like... 
you can't leave the front line when you're playing Reinhardt. You have to just, like, trust that somebody else will deal with that. Because if you try to deal with it, that's what happens, you know? Yeah, this is the thing. No matter what role you are, you have to... That was really upsetting. You have to fulfill your role before you can start trying to cover for other roles. You need to do your job first, and then you're covered for the other jobs. Unfortunately, the work of Reinhardt is never done. You always have to be at the front line. Which entails having to put more trust than I'm honestly comfortable with in people playing Overwatch. But, you know. Oh, McCree tried real hard right there, and now- Oh my god! You fucking animal! Jesus Christ, were you raised in a fucking barn? What was that? My man, he's fucking springs into action. He's like, we'll get this bitch. Fuck. Well, I'm a fan anyway. Alright, shit, I did it all. Oh no, he's coming. Oh, there's only one thing to do now. The forbidden technique. Shit, he has a lot of health, actually, doesn't he? Oh no, I actually need to channel on Reinhardt for quite a while for him to die. So now, it is I who is the clown the whole time. You fucking animal, you wild fucking beast. Holy shit, that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Anyway. So we're playing Reinhardt. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes pin gets real weird, doesn't it? I don't really like using Earth Shatter at this point, because like we're pretty much gonna win. Like we've pretty much won this team fight. Uh, you know, there's the case to be made of like, well, they might still win. They, they were not, though. They, like, really weren't. We could have just held our shield up and, like, let our team kill them. Because what are they going to do? They had to go so far at that point. Don't put the shield up. <sighs> we got to let it regenerate. A whole team fight happened. This boy's going to be coming in with a close to Earth Shatter. Which, for me, is the same as having an Earth Shatter. We got to have some shield. He's behind us, by the way. So it's like a lose-lose situation at that point, and that's why you really don't want the enemy Reinhardt to end up behind you. Because it's like, well, I turn around to block Reinhardt. Ah, uh, his whole team is there, though. I block his whole team. Ah, what if he Earth Shatters me? You know, that's why you really don't want the enemy Reinhardt to charge past you, because that's how that kind of sadness happens. So here we go again. Defense time, they've only got a minute. Things are looking pretty good for us. But if they capture like if they capture the first checkpoint enough, that guy is gonna go through the window on the top. There's like nothing nothing else he could possibly be considering doing right now. He's getting chased by Diva, so he's gonna be thinking twice about it at this point. That boy but like, that boy was like, I'm gonna fucking flank this Reinhardt. I'll show him for what happened in the last round. Ho <laughs> ho. Um, hey, we kind of charged him, sick. Ah, uh, life is hard. Put the shield up, okay, sick. Really afraid we we're gonna die. We're still gonna die. We're still gonna die, but, you know. What happened? I mean, so, like, first, yeah. I'm sick, alright, leave me alone. I just realized, we don't want to be this far up on King's Row. Like, standing in the archway is not recommended, because you don't want to be in a place when you're playing Reinhardt where the enemy team can be break, like shooting at your shield for completely free, right? So if you're stood right here, then my man can stand here, and he can break your shield, and like he's not getting shot at for that. My man can stand back here and be breaking your shield, and he's not getting shot at for that. He could be standing over here and shooting your shield, and he might get shot at, but like, you know, it's still basically for free, right? There's lots of places where you can just stand far back and be shooting at the guy's shield if he's in the archway for nothing. You don't want to do that. Standard procedure is pretty much stand back here and you've got your bases covered because if they try and push up here through, well, they've got to push up through this narrow little choke point at you right here if they're going to get to you. 
I don't like that very much. Or the alternative is go around this way and then just push at you like this, which they don't really like doing either. But people very rarely do that, to be honest with you. Like, people like to just go right at you. And, you know, the thing with standing back here is that sometimes people go through this doorway and, like, nobody reacts to it. But, like... That can happen pretty- like, if people are not gonna react- like, here's the thing, right? Well, if I stand here, my teammates might be bad and just let Genji go back behind our team and kill my teammates, so I have to stand up here to stop that happening. Here's the problem, though. I'm playing Genji right now, right? I'm like, I gotta get behind the bad men so I can kill their teammates. Alright, I'm gonna come up through here, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna dash over here, and I'm behind them. So if your team, like if your case for not standing here is my teammates might might not might be bad and not react to somebody going this way, they can do that regardless, right? Like your teammates can always be bad and not react to what your teammates are doing, even if you're standing here, right? Like they can somebody can still just come through here, and then a hey, the same thing is happening. How many times you've been there and you've just watched a fucking McCree or a soldier come up here and just start shooting your teammates? And you can't do shit about it because you're playing Reinhardt. But nobody wants to take responsibility for that guy on the high ground because that's hard. Nobody want to put in the time to deal with that, right? So, like, it's just stand here. You're in a way better defensive position. Yeah, your teammates might be bad, but your teammates can be bad even if you're standing in the choke point. Don't let my teammates might be bad be a reason for not standing in a better position because your teammates can be bad while you're in the worst position anyway. So you might as well have your teammates be bad while you're stood in a good position, you know? Such is life. Such is playing Reinhardt. Um, and the other thing with being up there is that, like, we have to go so far to get to safety now as well, right? And also, here's the other benefit of standing back here. If you're back here, like, your te your long-range teammates like to stand here because they can be covered from the Widowmaker because there's a wall here. If you're stood here, they can be using that cover, you can be using that cover, and they can contest the Widowmaker from here if they come out that archway or unstand in the pulpit. So just don't stand in the gate on King's Row is the moral of the story. Stand, like, right around where we died instead. Um, it's just a way better defensive position. So anyway, hey, we changed to Hammond. I lied to you. We're not playing Reinhardt the entire way through. I'm sick! Leave me alone. I don't know anything about Hammond. All I know is it feels good to roll around the point. He's- we shouldn't be- I can tell you right now what we're doing is turbo feeding. Like, we just fed them so much. It doesn't effectively matter if they capture that checkpoint, because they're not getting an extension anyway. So if we go out trying to contest the checkpoint that we've already lost, all we do is feed them 600 health worth of ult charge and stagger ourselves. King's Row is a terrible map to stagger yourself on the first checkpoint. You should be really conservative when you're defending the first checkpoint on King's Row, because if you die like that, it is a long way back to this point. Like, look how far they got to push on this checkpoint for free because of the time that we died. We could have been contesting them right there if we didn't die like that. Like, King's Row and Numbani, terrible places to get staggered on the first checkpoint because you have, like, a fucking 20-plus second walk back. Remember seeing this one chart? It's like, if you got, like, no movement speed on Numbani, I think it's like a 28 second time to walk back if you're defending the second checkpoint. Um, like, uh, King's Row was, like, King's Row was pretty close as well, like, first checkpoint really bad to stagger on. And then you end up missing, like, some of the great defensive positions on that map, because, like, the best place to defend on that map is right around the first quarter. But, if you're dead, you probably don't get to defend that point. And at this point, this is the point where I'm like, they're gonna capture all three checkpoints. Momentum is a powerful beast in this video game, and they have a lot of momentum built up at this point. Um, us dying like that, it's sure- I thought we were gonna walk off the map. Us dying at that point, it certainly didn't help the situation. There, is there any guarantee our teammates wouldn't have died? No, absolutely none. But us to, us dying like that certainly didn't help either. I 
I feel like we've been in a very similar position before. I had some deja vu on that one. Except not really, because I wasn't eat, drinking, I was gonna say eating orange juice the last time that that happened. I'm sick, leave me alone. I know it's all sugar, but it's orange flavored and I like orange flavored things, all right? Leave me alone, you savages. Jesus Christ, who are you, McCree? So, you know, we're basically just praying at this point. If we get back out here, we've got Earth Shatter at least. So, hey, maybe we get them off. Maybe we get them off at this point. I would rather we didn't charge up to it, really, because usually, like, the first inclination is to get as close to the, to the payload as possible, but, like, if you have a little bit of extra space, you can usually earth shatter a lot more people than if you're standing, like, right on the payload. So I would have rather walked back up. It wasn't close enough that we had to get to it or lose yet, but at that point, like, is, you know... The real play is don't be in that position to begin with, you know. Don't focus on the last mistake, focus on the first mistake. So, they've got a Bastion, we haven't learned this yet. Now, we, now we've learned it, though, I think. We took a lot of damage right there. We might have not learned it, actually, because, like, that... By all accounts, that could have come from other sources. Now we know they have a Bastion. You can fucking see the boy. We can't be fighting in Bastion's field of view. So, we got only a couple choices, pretty much, when there's a Bastion right here. So, getting to Bastion, not especially easy for us. So, but, here's the thing, right? We just basically try and get, like, here. Then we rush here. And then if we come around here, Bastion can't really see us anymore. So, Bastion has to move or get down at that point. And if he starts, and if we see him stand up... We just pick a fight as fast as we possibly can before he can set back up again. And if he jumps down, that's like the best case scenario, but he'd be a fool to do so in most circumstances. Because um, he could just stand on, move to the other side of the tunnel up there. Um, half our team's dead right now. This is not a good time to be charging for the door through the doorway. It's an even worse time to be using Earth Shatter. Um... Like, here's what we gotta do. I know it's scary, because there's a lot of people in their doorway, in the doorway right now, but... Right, you know, if you can coordinate your team, great, right? Like... Place Bastion standing. If we come through this side of the doorway, Bastion can't see us, because there's a thing in the way. So, we just, like, very we calmly, you know, we, we rotate round, you know, we die, whatever, we reset, however be, however it so be. And we go this way. We stand here, we wait, you know, we wait for our team, we wait till we've got decent shields, and then we push him through this side of the doorway. Bastion can't see us, Bastion will have to move if he wants to take part in the fight that is occurring right here. And if he doesn't move, we're fighting 6v5 right here, because he can't see through the statue. Then we resolve this situation however it may be. If we kill him, fantastic news basically free at that point we just start marching to the point and bastion has no, like no good recourse at that point if they don't die if they move back then we re we re go back to our previous plan bastion might have gotten down by that point but that's not bastion players he's up there for the long haul right now so you know we get in here we don't kill them we push them back all right because this is the more complicated scenario if we kill them it's easy if we don't kill them then we come here Hey, we do the previous plan. If Bastion did jump down, maybe we adopt the plan, adjust the plan. Depends where Bastion's standing. If Bastion stood, like, right here, this is a terrible place. But if he jumps down from there, he might be here. Then, we fucking rush him as hard as we can. We stand behind here, we let our shield charge, and then we fucking rush the guy. And we just get on him before he can do anything about it. And then we fight like that. And if right, his teammates die, easy peasy, you know. And that's what we do. We don't do this, where we just, like, jump back and forth in front of the doorway doing nothing. Here's the thing when you're playing Reinhardt. Here's the thing when you're playing a main tank in general, right? You are driving the bus. You've got to get your mans to the objective. And you've got to decide how you're going to get your mans to the objective. You lead the charge. So if you're indecisive about how you're gonna get there, 
well, fuck, what are your teammates supposed to do? They're meant to be following you, right? So you've got to be decisive. You've got to look at the situation and you've got to go, what is the best way for me to get my clown car to the objective uh, with as many clowns alive as physically possible? Like at this point, he hadn't used Earth Shatter this whole time. We should have been able to anticipate that one. Um, you gotta decide, how am I gonna get my clowns there? alive and you know like you get a you get a few permutations of the situation on king's row right we'll go we'll go down a few right now Dad. we already did the bastion one right there that will also work for like any hit scan hero that's standing up on the high ground over there right you still do the same thing you avoid the line of sight as much as possible it's just if it's like soldier that's a lot less deadly than a bastion if you get caught in his crossfire for some reason right so now what if there's a may oh god there might be a may i played on king's row before there's a may just fucking squat Right over here, like, I wanna get that bitch. As soon as that bitch sets a toe over that doorway, I'ma get that bitch. You got two choices, you got three choices, actually, right? You can, s but they all require decisive action, right? So, first off, I'm gonna bait Maze Wall. Where we give him a little bit of a, we give him a little bit of a, we give him a little bit of a walk. We, and as soon as we think May's about to wall us, we step back. We are now on top of wall, instead of behind wall. Then we jump back down onto our side and we wait for May's wall to go down. We now know we cannot be walled off because she just used it. So when the wall goes down, we go in. We fucking rush. We let the shield regenerate while May's wall is up because they don't take it down. We let it regenerate and then when it goes down, we push in while we know we can't get walled off. We go in right now. Plan two. We just go all in to begin with. May can't wall off one person if all the people go through the doorway at the same time. This, of course, requires a little more coordination than you may be able to attain. Choice three, the forbidden technique, the hidden option that nobody ever considers. Team, we're going right. And then you go up and you drop down and you are now over here. You are now presented with two options, depending on what they are doing. If they are, you may not want to go this way, because, heck, you're looking at a May. You've probably got some distance to cover. That's a little spooky, right? So, if they're kind of, like, all up in your grill at this point, like, they're like, fuck, they're coming down this way and they come over to fight you, you don't get much choice other than fight right here, right? But if they're a little bit further away, if they're doing something a little like this, and they just kind of watch you drop down, you can now try and, like, push in this way at them, where you go, like, left or you go right around the around the statue. Depends on which kind of team you've got. If you've got a long-range team, it's better to go right. If it's got a close-range team, it's going to be better to go left, because you have to cover less distance to get to them. But over here, you can play along a little more, like, poke proddy kind of game, and, like, march at them when you have a good opportunity. You can, like win the shield war from over here because you've got a nice piece of cover and then when they their shields are low you wait your shield is high hey now i march right at them and they've got no choice but to just fight me on the point right but and then the other choice you have is you go up this way as well and this is only really worth doing if you have a long range team where you can come up here you can sit up here now i see everything i see all so you can just sit up here and poke and prod at them until you have an advantageous position and you can jump right down again. You could do it if you had a long range team, I guess, just to like cover distance, maybe go that way, you know, but like this is really what you would only do if you have a long range team. So those of you, that's if you got there, if they got the May, right? Now, what if they've got the double snipers or something like that, right? That's the other like common occurrence. Shit, dude. Same as Stratus Bastion, we just avoid their line of sight as much as possible. And then, hey, you come around here, can't see, hey, you know, just avoid line of sight, same deal. Or you could just change to a dive comp if you really wanted to, you know? But, so, you know, it's, like, those are the, th and, like, what if they got, like, you know, kind of a, a brawly, like, or, a, like, a Torbjorn Symmetra kind of arrangement, right? Where there's, like, a fuck door as soon as you come through the doorway, right? Like... You know, have some faith. Your teammates will break the break the sh break the turrets. If they don't, a forbidden technique where we go through up here and then we just circumnavigate the turret issue and revert revert to revert, revert to the other plan again. You know, these basically these are the things you think about. You think, 
what's the biggest threat on their team, which is like hit scan on high ground, May, turrets, Reaper, you know, that kind of thing. You think, what's the scariest thing on their team? How do I mitigate that scariness as much as possible? And the answer is always use cover, essentially. It's just about which kind of cover is better for the situation. Because if, like, you know, they got a close range team, if they got a close range team, you try to avoid getting, like, in their grill as much as possible. If there's a Reaper May right here, like, shit, that's scary. You just try and avoid it and, like, deal with it from outside of their range, at which point you go that way. If they have a long range team, you're trying to leapfrog to them. You're trying to get as close to them as you can while avoiding their line of sight. So there's a lot of like patient play when you're trying to close in on it, like a bastion or the snipers or the hit scans on the high ground. You gotta be really patient because you go, all right, team, follow me. And you come through, you take a big chunk of damage there, you wait, you sit, you consider now. You let your shield regenerate, and then you consider the, the follow-up play. Are they coming in? No, they're not coming in. All right, now, what do I want to do? Can we contest their high ground? If with our own hit scan, in which case I can come around here and block for my team while they shoot up at them. Only really the high ground people will be able to see from here and we can drive them back. And then once they are gone, that's the main threat driven back, then we can push on to the point. You know, or can we not contest them? All right, we need to just avoid them as much as we can. So we will go over this way instead. Then we get in this room. All right, I took some damage going around that way. Do I need to wait for my shield to regenerate? No, it's still like 1300, that's good enough. So we're gonna come out here now and start fighting, right? Cause now, suddenly we're behind their team. We can play around this corner. We can just march onto the point and start fighting. There's high ground people up there. Doesn't matter if we kill the four people that are stood on the point, then they have to come down regardless. You know, you try and just think about how am I gonna get my clown car to the point while mitigating as much damage as possible? And the answer is always use cover. It's just which cover is the best to use, pretty much. Um, but, regardless, be decisive. Don't like, you know, oh god, that's all very scary on the inside of that choke point right there. Nah, it can't be that way. You gotta be decisive. You drive the bus. You drive the clown bus. How am I get the clowns there? This is certainly one way to get the clowns there, but it strikes me as a frustration move at that point. Like, god damn, it just isn't working. Mercy rezzed us so we can die again. Fantastic work, Mercy. <sighs> Mercy players very close to fucking Lucio players in terms of people I hate. I'm... Shit. Whole team's dead except me, because I was hiding in this closet. Now what do I do? Hmm... Well, I might as well use my res and see if it works. Flies right over to the Reinhardt that died in the middle of six people. Well, I hope you live. Mm. Well, I lived. You're dead. Of course you fucking are. And you got the res off. Great! Now I get to give them 500 health worth of ult charge and die ten seconds later now. Amazing work, Mercy. Another life saved. <sighs> anyway. Life, life is very difficult. What time is it? Jesus Christ, it's late. I procrastinate so much. I'm sick. Shut the fuck up. Uh, we don't know what to do. I like this, this is like one of those moves. It's like, shit, dude. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm just going in. All right, I'm in. That's like, that's like a pure spite earth shatter at that point. Like, that's just pure malice. <laughs> I, I fucking hate Bash. Just like shuffling around the fucking phone box. Like, I'm gonna get him. I'm hell or high water. I'm gonna get this fucking Bastion. Um. Yeah, clearly just didn't know what to do. Just like, I'm gonna get him. I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna get the Bastion, because the Bastion's killing my whole fucking team. I've been there before. You know, 
The problem is you still gotta be clear headed about these things. My clown car isn't gonna drive itself. Clowns are notoriously bad drivers. So, you know, you gotta still default to even when you're mad. You got you, you know, when you're frustrated because you can't get through the doorway. Just wait for him to start reloading. He has to reload sooner or later and then charge him. He's already dead. Don't need to do it. I just like watch through the window like he's gonna reload sooner or later and that's when you go. Anyway. Um, clowns are bad drivers. Even when you're mad and frustrated at the constant honking. You still, you still gotta drive those clowns, cause God knows those clowns ain't gonna drive themselves, brother. They ain't gonna do it. Oh look, she's doing it! She did the thing! She did the thing that I just talked about! But at least we get to benefit from it this time. Like, what was that ever gonna do? What was ever gonna happen, Mercy? Mercy, what was Reinhardt gonna do? I'm gonna raise this Reinhardt right in front of six people and bash him. He can probably deal with that. But that's not what Mercy's thinking, is it? Mercy's thinking, well, let's just try and get this off and see if it works. And that's it. No higher level thought was put into it. She was just like, let's see if I can get it off because getting an ability off is preferable to not getting an ability off. Not always, but you know how clowns are. I heard Deadeye and I don't know where he was. Um, and, you know, that's, that's spooky. I don't, I'm not gonna go back to look. Um, I'll just assume he was in the rafters. Um, how did he get to the rafters? I don't know. You know, fucking, fucking, he's got spurs on there. He's like, walk up the wall, probably, if he dug his heel in really fucking hard. Wouldn't that be impressive? Genji's like, ha, can you do this? Walking up the wall in front of McCree? Just fucking watch me! And you just watch him dig his fucking spurs into the wall and walk up. That would be incredible. I can see the comic in my mind's eye right now. But I lack any such talent to create such a thing. Oh shit, he's dead. Fucking sick. Yeah, I, absolutely. I would have done it sooner than that. I would have took to Zarya and Mercy. But whatever. You know, Mercy was already dead. Shit, brother, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? He's dead! We did it! We won the video game! That means we didn't get punished. We don't have to learn a damn thing. Sick. Um, so, the, the big thing that game was just like, so, you know, two things. First off, shield management. We did bad, you know. I'll, I'll not belabor that point um, further, but we did bad, you know. Lots of putting the shield up when it's just like so low as to not even be worth considering. Just resetting the cooldown on its regeneration constantly. Just let it regenerate. Um, and the other thing is just like, it, it felt like, uh, right at the end, definitely, but at various points, it felt like we didn't really have a firm idea of what we're trying to accomplish. You guys, how am I gonna get to those mans, you know? And I'll not go over that whole thing again, lest we be here for six weeks. But, you get the idea. Th those were the two things that stood out the most. Now, one of those things might just stand out the most because it occurred right at the end of the game. So it's the thing that stands out most clearly in my mind's eye. But, it's definitely important for tanks. Um, having a firm idea of how you're going to get to the objective and just, like, doing that. Um, not doing all the like, oh fuck, this is scary in front of the choke point because that's how you end up playing the games on Hanamura where you never even get through the doorway. Uh, yeah, so, um, thank you very much for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. More than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord, ask questions more directly, have a conversation about them, or just ship posts with us. Also, submit questions for Sunday videos. Gotta put that one in there now. Um... Sorry, streaming on Twitch, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 8 p.m. EST to 11 EST. There's a link to the channel in the description. Probably not this week, though, because I'm still sick. <sighs> if you somehow managed to make it all the way through the video and somehow still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future, and I hope you found the video helpful. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at how fat this boy is. My goodness, he's taken up the whole table. Ah, oh, he's semi-transparent as well. What a big drama queen he is. 
It's okay, I can relate somehow. Oh god, he's broken every bone in his body. How tragic. Oh no, my poor son. Look at him, broken and disheveled. Oh, how tragic.